Hello, welcome back. I'm Rich Slayton. That's Andrew Guy. More CRL coming your way today. And Andrew, a lot of familiar faces, but one flag, a lot of green and yellow flying all over the CRL arena today. Still 10 seconds remaining. Lightning does beat out Poison as long as that Lightning does get there in time. A Lightning hits. Does the Flying Machine turn? No. Uh, the Electro Spirit holds on. And Ruben with a very, very pretty win here in the final seconds. What a game that we were able to witness. Game three, both players playing their best. So very difficult situation here for the Brazilian in game number one. 99% to 1%, folks. And you know, when the matchup comes out this way, uh, yeah, that's certainly going to stick to it in this situation. Yeah, I mean, just really unfortunate that that was the specific matchup he was going against back in 2019 for Moreno Cup 5, trying to add some more here as we go to 90 seconds left. That baby dragon splash is huge, Rich. It really is. 954 on the left-hand side, a very healthy Electro on the right-hand side. Going to bring that down below 400. Might just take the tower outright. Look at that. That Electro Giant is so damaged. Now we get those E-Barb cycles in the back along with some high zappies. Everything pulled right into that Electro Giant. It will not hit the tower, but a lot of Elixir spent. And there's that Firecracker, Eric. Yeah, and the reason he got so much damage on the left is because it appeared like Goligo's bomber forgot that it actually does splash damage. It targeted only <laughs> one Hagi. That's why I have to be careful here. He does have poison and he has arrows, so me just saying he needs to be careful is trying to add some excitement to everything because the push on the left is actually harder than the push on the right. Um, just very, very smart deck choices out of him and not going to RG here, which would have probably lost. And you see Lucas there, I'm sure, very, very happy. Not game over just yet, although we oh. do see the fly machine lock in, so that's going to wow. be heavy damage. Almost getting it to poison range, and it's going to be in poison range. Just needs to cycle that on tower. Go to go. I was so impressed by this set from him. That was a last opportunity for Tico to stay in the competition. He just needed to catch that fly machine. Wow. Then going for the Ice Wiz gets a little bit taken off by the Fisherman, but we are going to see connections in both lanes. Lightning maybe a half step lane, Fisherman. but the Fish Boy slides on through, and that is a ton of damage. It's getting Slapping tank the heck out of that tower. I cannot believe it was getting tanked for every single hit. I was looking for it to go down. When is it actually going to go down? CRL just in 2021. It does seem this is where his road comes to an end this month here in June. Ten seconds left, a rocket to boot. That's going to do it. Yeah, I mean, you talk about deck picking, doesn't get much better on KK's side than it does here. Brilliant, brilliant choice and a phenomenal win, KK. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to watch first off. I did not expect that. And what, I mean, I don't know, everything I predict just goes the wrong way this weekend. So <laughs> we're 84 oh. on the bottom left hand side. And oh my word, that is devastating. Yeah, Skeleton Dragon connects on that right hand side, 159, but no big spell. Nice fireball in, minor hit on the right hand side. Snowball gets oh. it done. He and does there it. you go. 144 HP. KK can't believe it. Lucas just became your June champion and takes home 20 grand. A great tournament overall by KK. $20,000, a brilliant snowball to create space. The miner in time, 144 HP. KK is devastated. The top, what, 40 plus players are all names that you have to be familiar with if you've been watching competitive CR at all. But what's brilliant about 2021 is anyone can be here. Any one person can be on this stage.